Motorists are being pinched from both ends, with prices at the pump hitting an 11-month high. The 95-octane fuel type now costs $2.88 per litre. Oh, that's the highest price since mid-August last year. The previous high for this widely used petrol type had been $3.42 per litre, recorded in June last year. Oh, some motorists seem to have grown immune to rising prices. Others, though, are taking steps to reduce their usage of fuel. This is uh, going on all over the world, so there's nothing much we can do. I think we all got used to it. It just rise and rise and we just keep paying and paying. Try to plan the route and also uh, to lighten the, the weight of the car. Let me remove unnecessary items from the car. Uh, probably try to drive when necessary yeah, and try to use public transport as much as possible. Uh, professor, I have to admit, like, I'm one of those drivers uh, we heard earlier. I pump uh, petrol in my car today. I didn't realise that, you know, it's gone up again at record high. Uh, why exactly are we seeing the prices um, also going up uh, so high this time around? Well, the main driver of uh, pump prices is actually global oil prices. It's the main cost input into producing your petrol and diesel. And we've seen that global oil prices have gone up again uh, due to continuing geopolitical uncertainty. I mean, that's uh, not something that we can do anything about as a small country. And so, you know, you might have some short-term deviation from this trend, but overall, when you see oil prices going up, then petrol pump prices go up in Singapore too. That's unavoidable, unfortunately. So, Professor, as we heard suggested earlier, people are inured to higher COE prices. Are they equally inured to rising pump prices? Are they going to be changing their mindsets on owning cars because of this double whammy? Well, in the short run, uh, you look at fuel prices, whether car owners are affected. Actually, car owners don't change their behavior a lot because they're not going to stop driving their cars just because, you know, the last refueling now costs a lot more than maybe the month before or something. I mean, they're going to be paying more, but the typical Singapore car owner is not going to be pushed into financial distress uh, because if you buy a car in Singapore, you're probably better off than most people in Singapore to begin with. Uh, but in the long run, when petrol prices remain high, uh, they get people thinking about whether they really need to own a car or not. And if you feel that the operating cost of owning a car doesn't make sense anymore, if you feel that your needs are actually well met by public transport, I think that's a good thing. You stop owning a car and you go car line, and that is actually a more sustainable country. And it's also easier on your wallet as well. So, you know, with rising COE and also pump prices, um, you know, put, put it all together, um, people still want to drive their cars. But which segments of society do you think uh, will, you know, most likely feel the pinch? Well, the funny thing is, if you already own a car today and the majority of existing car owners are not going to have their cars come up for, you know, COE uh, renewal anytime soon, you're actually not affected by high COE prices. In fact, the value of your cars actually goes up when COE prices rise. But if you are wanting to buy a car or you want to replace your old car, then, of course, you're hurt quite badly by this. And it's also people who rely on cars to make a living. Uh, they're also affected, like our taxi and private hire drivers, because uh, the operating cost goes up. The rental cost may also be affected. So unless the fares rise, they're going to be badly hit. And because of that, we see some pressure and in inflation as well. Uh, you have high operating costs after a while that have to be factored into logistics, fares, and so on. But the COE price cycle, at least, it is not a new problem. If you own a car, if you run a logistics company, you know that every 10 years, you have low COE supply, you also have high COE supply. And we will have higher COE supply coming on in the next few years. So if you can hang on, if you can hold off replacing your car and so on, I think you can weather this storm right now. Oh, thanks so much for all those insights. Walter Fazera, Associate Professor of Economics at the Singapore University of Social Sciences.